Hey guys, I'm back with another session of Alan Wake here. And I'm sorry about the lack of uploads, it's just YouTube is being a bitch like always. I can't really remember much, I tried to watch the previous videos and I didn't really pick up much. I can kind of remember at the very end there was this creepy phone call, but apart from that, let's try and recap while playing the game. Steve Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found the How the hell did you get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. What is wrong with you? As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the godfearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. The fuck is this? Anyway, is this a, a there was an boat? There owned by a guy called Thomas what the Isaac. fuck? Some of the articles I found about him make him out to be Wait, a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches. Go to a boat ramp next time. A thing That's not wrote. where Zane normal people park boats. Dive, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Randy's dogs. What do we got here? Hot dog? D dog? All right. Come on, a mister. belly burster. I'll take you to Rose's Would trail. you shut up? I'm reading. I'm I'm gonna buy one of your hot dogs. What do we got? Rabbit food. <laughs> Just follow me. That's ah, not far. Shut your fat cuts. Wait, open to midnight. Fuck, this Listen, guy must be I got desperate. Things to do. This place don't run itself. All right, what do we have to do? Hurry up, Poppy. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratch and hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she we got a swing. Crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? Physical stuff. She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Anymore. Yeah, anyway. She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. That's a dirt pit, not a sand pit. Who the hell lets their kids just play in a pile of dirt, probably filled with rabbit shit or something? Right, what do we got here? Dead plants. And what's that say? Something clean. 
Ooh, knock. Lock, lock, motherfucker. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. What the I'm, fuck? I'm so glad Get away from here. her! She's a demon! Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey! This is really good! Demon juice. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? Succubus. Oh, sneaky Alan trying to get a pick up her dress. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Whoa. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. Rose She's took a day strict. for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. Oh, All yes. I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. God damn it, Barry. How many times have I told you do not put vodka? In coffee. Barry was out of it. Does he was to way you. too heavy to carry. You're right. Deserve more mercy. What is she doing? So handsome. Can't do anything at the Welcome moment. Welcome to the uh. Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Fuck I you, couldn't bitch. work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Alright, so I can do stuff now. Oh, and I changed the um, shortcut to recording so I won't keep cutting out now. I don't think they're chasing me. It sounds like a helicopter. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on, you fat ass, run. Spotlights. Shit. Shit, shit, no, run, run, run. We have to get that arsehole. <gasps> Breathe then. Alright, we're good. on to read these now. And it's getting dark, I can't see. Oh shit. That's not good.
We haven't even got a gun yet. Everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck. Not good. You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's nowhere to run. I'm not running. Please. Wait, that might be good. Alright, the crows must have, like, just acted all terrorism on the helicopter and drove himself into the blades. See the lights at the radio station in the distance. I don't have anything on that. I still have to escape the police. Uh, they're not following me here. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. 